That was so yummy. Thank you. I haven't had a roast in ages. When I was courting Yvonne, she used to cook a roast for me every Sunday. I put on a stone in four months. <laughs> your problem was you kept coming back for seconds. Yeah, because your father always turfed me out as soon as I'd finished eating. <laughs> I wanted to spend as much time with you as I could. Oh, you old charmer. Mm. <laughs> well, thank you for dinner, Mum, but you don't have to do all the cooking. That's the least I can do. Mm. And I'm doing the dishes. No, you're the guest. Yeah, the guests have to pull their weight too. You go and put your feet up, Jay. <laughs> Your friends can stay well after me. We're helping. Come on. Oh, darn it! Don't worry about it, Ian. I'll clean up. That's my mess. I'm sorry. It's okay, Dad. Oh, look. I'll get you a plaster. No, just point me in the right direction. Bathroom cabinet. Uh, sorry. Has that been happening a lot? His grip's not as good as it used to be. What did the doctor say? He won't go to the doctor. He says he wants to keep living his life. He doesn't want people poking and prodding him until he's on his deathbed. But the doctor's going to help. I've tried to talk him round, but you know what he's like. Once he digs his heels in... Then I'll speak to him. Well, if he'll listen to anyone, it'll be you. I've never seen him so determined. He's made up his mind. Then I'll change it. I don't like those glasses anyway. So I did you a favour. It was very clumsy of me. Have you thought about seeing a doctor? You've been talking to your mother. She's worried about you, Dad. So am I. No doctors, Maya. You can get the condition reassessed, you know? Get a second opinion. What, so they can tell me all over again how sick I'm going to get? No, so they can help you. I don't need help. Dad! Maya! <sighs> Sit down. Do you know why I wanted to do the dishes? You wanted to repay us for having you to stay? No. I wanted to do the dishes because I can. And one day, I won't be able to. I won't be able to eat your mother's roasts. I won't be able to talk to you. Don't talk about that. No, I have to. I have to do as much as I can now because one day I won't be able to anymore. It seems to me I have two choices. I can lie down and be an invalid, or I can stand up and live life. When I have to lie down, because my legs won't carry me anymore, that's when I let those doctors help me, okay? Did me help you? Oh, you are. Just by being you. You and your sisters, you're so lovely. You're proof that I did something worthwhile with my life. 